Hello everyone and welcome to Farming Sim 22 tutorial. Today we are talking about advanced forestry. So if you're new to forestry, I recommend my basic video, which I will link in the description. And that, that'll show you how to cut down, break down a tree, where to sell it, where to put it in the production chain and all that. Today we're just looking at the advanced machinery. So after you're done with sort of the basic level of just chainsaw and maybe a front loading log, uh, whatever it's called, you will probably go into the tools forestry equipment section and you will find the cranes and the wood chipper machine if you want to mess with wood chips at all. And so here is the crane and again this is a tool that will attach to your tractor. And the nice thing about this is that the uh, trailer itself will pick up logs. You can pick up larger logs which will sell for more money and it's just less to deal with. Uh, just sort of fewer things to cut and break down um, and then of course you can put it right onto the trailer and transport it. So you'll see in the very 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 top left of controls where the uh, sort of the tools and coupling diagram is there's a one and then if I hit uh, change tools again it'll go to a two and you'll see in the bottom left of the controls the control group. So when I'm on two I can move this and you'll have to check your controls if you're not on a computer. Right now I have the left mouse button and that'll put the support legs down. And then I go back to one and then I can mess with this. So a lot of this video, you're, you'll have to just sort of play around with the controls. They can get a little finicky, but of course the more you do it, the better you will get at it. Um, so if, on PC, if you hold both mouse buttons, you can open the claw and rotate it. And then right mouse will lower and and raise so we do that now i won't be able to pick all this up probably because it's very 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 large so i'm going to go cut it a little bit but again this will be much better than before you can see forestry still seems to be bugged a bit this is about two weeks after launch hopefully they will fix it soon and raise it again i may not have you kind of want to get it in the center of the log will make it easier and then left mouse button will swing it around. I can rotate it and then lower it. And I could actually make that way larger. And you can just continue to do that until you are happy with that. And when you're done, you can go over here, hit L or sorry, hit R to fasten it. And then it'll be just sort of like stuck there so it won't fly off. If you want to mess with wood chipping, here's the tool for that. And the really nice thing about this wood chipping tool is that it actually has some storage. Um, it has 16,000 units um, of storage, so you don't need to put it directly into a trailer. So um, I already unfolded it, and again, you it has its own crane. You can turn it on, and I need to cut this just a hair smaller. I don't know if this will work when it's all bugged like this, but we'll try. I don't mind these being a little smaller because it just makes it easier to deal with. But you will, if the tree's not in my way, just do the same thing, same exact controls. So once you sort of get decent with a crane, which I am not, um, but hopefully it'll be okay for this video, then they're all, they all work the same. I'll rotate it. And this is where I always struggle is bringing it in. And I have to turn it on again and then lower it and then if I let go it sort of like eats it if I actually let go instead of just there we go and it'll wood chip it up and you can see in the bottom right it's getting stored and then when I want to I can um, unload it so it'll actually tip kind of like a dumpster so if you take it to the biomass plant whatever you want to do with wood chips if you really want to get into wood chips, I recommend my poplars video because that is literal just wood chip production. Um, I usually don't use like actual trees for wood chips, but uh, this is where you just sell them. Uh, there's really no production chain for those. And you would just unload it into wherever you want. And again, it'll kind of dump like a, like a dumpster. And that is sort of your two intermediate tools. And then you have some really, really cool advanced tools. And these are the actual vehicles themselves. So you need to go to vehicles, forestry machines, and you have three types. You have the ones that actually cut down the trees themselves. 
and we'll look at that. And then you have the cranes, kind of like we just looked at, except it's actually its own vehicle. And then you do have a wood chipping vehicle. And the downside of this is that it doesn't have its own storage. So you do ha need to have a trailer on hand to break those down. And you can see I kind of have that set up. We'll, uh, we'll look at that in a bit. So here's, here's the good one. So this is uh, the machine that will cut down the tree. And you'll see on the front here if I uh, can lift it up or do that or just jump. There we go. Uh, in the top, uh, yeah, if I turn it on with B, it'll kind of open up. And then let's find a decent tree. Again, we're going to avoid the ones on the left and go for these straighter ones right in front of me. And you also see change cut length. We'll get to that in just a little bit. For now, we want to go up to the tree, get it as low as possible so we get as much tree as possible. And of course, we have to get the tree actually in there. And then the, in the top left in controls, you can see cut. That's probably about as low as I can get. And I cut and it'll just chop down the tree and it'll just pick it up. It'll just sort of grab it automatically. And then it's getting a little weird now. Um, this is where you can kind of take it to where you want. Uh, the better you are at controls, the more sort of the, just the easier it is. But um, I'm, I'm struggling. But then you can see in the top left where it says change cut length. So if I hit Y, it's only going to be one meter. So if I hit um, X, it'll cut it into one meter, which is pretty small. But you can change that with Y, or again, you'll have to check your controls all the way up to eight. And eight is nice because it'll sell for more if you're tr if you're wanting to sell these for money. But the problem is it does become pretty unwieldy. You can see it's pretty large. Uh, so if you want something that's worth money and still fairly easy to deal with, I like kind of the five to six range um, just to make it a little easier on me. And then you just want to finish it out and you can kind of make yourself a nice little pile um, of lumber. It's all broken down, very easy to use uh, when it's not finicky. And again, you'll probably be better at driving these than I am. And then here's the crane and this I probably won't show this because this works the exact same way as the trailer or the tool one we looked at. The uh, The only difference is you actually drive it itself. It will be able to pick up larger lumber, um, store larger logs. But as far as the crane, it works the same way, same buttons, still rotates. So we don't need to really look at that. If you get really good at driving uh, these things, you can actually cut down a tree with uh, this machine and try to kind of line it up so that when you hit X and it kind of cuts it, breaks it down, it actually cuts it right onto this trailer or a trailer. Um, I was not able to get that to work just due to my skill level. So that is why it's omitted from the video. And then this one, we're not going to actually look at this chipping wood because, again, it's it's the same. You do have to unfold it. And again, there's two control groups. So um, the, once it unfolds, we'll be able to use the crane. You would turn it on with B once it's unfolded. And you can see unfold pipe first. Yep, so pipe out. There we go. And you can see it turn on there. I would use the crane. I would do it exactly the same way as I did that other wood chipper. The only difference is there's no storage. So you can see I have it piped um, into the uh, trailer. And you can see the pipe sort of moves automatically because it sort of it just tries to find the closest trailer and it'll just shoot out the wood chips. If there is no trailer, then it'll just not chip the wood. Um, it'll just sort of stay there until you put a trailer next to it and it has somewhere to output. So those are the main vehicles. Of course, there's lots of vehicles when you look under here. Um, the differences are, you know, gas, horsepower, uh, things like that. But they all work the same way. So that is advanced forestry. And then from there, you can uh, sell it, put it in the production chain, just like I showed in the basic forestry video. And that should be forestry yeah
I hope that helps. I hope you learned something. Like, subscribe, comment below if you wish, if you have a question, and of course, have yourselves a very nice day.